spark conversation. Looks like we have a few things going on out here today. So how would you describe where the team's at right now? Um, I love the fight that our guys have. I love the, um, the idea of, you know what, regardless of what happened the last pitch, I'm working to learn and get better, and they're doing it together. You know, being on the road for three weeks, um, I think was a fantastic thing for us. It allowed us to spend a lot of time together, huh? In the hotel, on the bus, on the flights, um, you know, soaking in different parts of the country, but also uh, sitting back and saying, you know, how'd that game go? How'd this at bat go? What can we do differently? How can our preparation be uh, different uh, to help us succeed? And we learned a lot about one another and how we go out there and compete. We played some really good competition, um, and you know, we, we have a better understanding of what we need to do um, offensively, defensively, and, and on the mound, on the bases, uh, little pieces from each area that we can improve on. Um, and the idea is to really gain momentum uh, as we enter, uh, well, each new each new game. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm excited for our guys. I, I know they're they're battling. They're learning a lot about themselves, and um, I, I do believe there's a lot of great things coming. And you probably learned about your your guys too. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine you're still tinkering with things here and there. Um, you know, I, I, as a coaching staff, we spend a lot of time discussing the, the student athletes and, and getting a good idea what everyone sees. You know, there's certain times in the day where they might see something that I don't see. So we like to really uh, share our thoughts and ideas. Um, you know, I'm I'm very impressed with the fight. I spend quite a bit of time complimenting a lot of the guys and praising them for you know how they go about their actions you know you see a guy coming off the field and everyone who's not in the game is is right up front um, congratulating them picking them up when they're down um, you know there's a, a a deep connection between these guys and how much they care about one another and you can trust that you know the other day we were down a handful of runs late in the game and we score five in the eighth inning and there's not a guy you watch you watch when you know our hitter has two strikes on them and they foul the ball off and they're up there competing it gets everybody else excited they know that there's no quit in this group and um, you know that in itself is encouraging and going out there and playing on the road for three weeks against good competition and putting up that fight the whole time um, you know was is, is something that really impresses you as as a fan base as a, as a coach as part of the family here, you know, that's that's what you want to see. Obviously, record not where you want it to be, being gone for three weeks. Is there something to be said about going through a little adversity early in the season and what that can and how that can help the team down the road, maybe? Oh, yeah, it, it, it all depends on how you how you handle, um, you know, those those opportunities. And I think uh, collectively we've sat back, looked at the game in its entirety. You know, we've we've had high scoring games, we've had close games, games that come down at the end, games that get taken off at the beginning. Um, so, really, each of those opportunities that we've we've been fortunate to be a part of has taught us so that next time, how do we um, finish the job and and come out on top? Um, which you don't learn unless you go through those things. You know, it's important, uh, I believe, you know, to be down and and know how to rally back first game of the year we score you know nine runs in the first inning and that proves to all those guys that they can score uh, big big innings uh, even down in San Diego we had a couple five run innings you know, it's important for them to know what the score is at any point in time you have the opportunity as an offensive unit to come back and, and be successful uh, and even on the on the defensive side you know Anyone who's watched the games thus far can see that we can really defend, and that's encouraging for our pitching staff as well. Saying, "Hey, I'm not here to strike you out. I'm here to force weak contact. Because if you put the ball in play, we have a great chance of making a lot of outs." And um, so, the way our guys work in pregame as a defensive unit, and having our pitching staff watch that is building confidence that, "Hey, I'm going to attack the zone. Let these guys put the ball in play. Because there's a lot of outs to be made." And the more our hitters um, 
watching the guy next to him go up there. And, uh, regardless of the count, I think it's building momentum, you know, it's showing that these guys can go up there and, and put up big runs. And, you know, it may not happen in one inning, but, you know, it's the the collective unit saying, hey, we're going to be relentless regardless of what the count, regardless of the score. Um, and the guys run the bases hard too, so it, it puts a, a lot of pressure on the other team's defense. What's going to be like coming back here home, first first time coaching, a home <laughs> crowd? Well, I, I'm excited for our players to go out there and get to get to be home for the first time in a long while. And I know I know what the atmosphere is going to be. It's going to be full of uh, Beaver believers, and everyone's excited to see these guys play. I know our guys are very eager to get out there and compete in front of um, you know their home and show them how, how much hard work they've been putting in and let it start to pay off. You know, um, but anytime you get to put on the the white uni and be here. You know, it's there's no better feeling in the world. How would you describe the atmosphere here for a game? Electric. You don't. It's not. It's not a one-on-one. -on -one. You feel like it's you know thousands against against one. You don't feel like you're going into into any any obstacle by yourself. There's no there's no threat. This is just challenge, and we have a, a huge support it's like this family here that's gonna that's gonna rally behind us and. You know, when when we have guys cross home plate, people are gonna people are gonna just start screaming, and the energy is gonna go through the roof. And when our pitchers go out there and and force weak contact or strike guys out, you're gonna see the same thing. But people are behind us, and that's one thing I've always loved about this atmosphere here is, regardless of the situation in the game, you know, our fans they want it. They 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 want us to go out there and. And compete, and that energy drives us as well. Um, and we know that we're not just there playing as an individual. We're playing for Beaver Nation. We're playing for the family. And I'm excited to see how the guys get out there and and handle that atmosphere. I know for a lot of the the freshmen, you know, we went out and played at, at Mississippi State, and they had a lot of fans. But there's there's still there's a difference here, and this packed house and, and the, the love that these folks have for Beaver baseball. Kind of generally, what are you hoping to see out of the pitching staff this weekend? Outs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I expect them to uh, attack the strike zone. Each each game we've had this far, you know, um, other guys are stepping up. They're still, you know, the young guys are still building their arsenal and, and how to use it um, and trusting that, you know, contact is a good thing. Um, and, you know, we have better ideas of what kind of roles and situations these guys can come in and get outs. Um, you know, you ideally want to put them in the best uh, situation they can come in and be successful. Um, but a lot of it is, you know, emphasizing throwing strikes, attacking, attacking the hitter. And, you know, it's, it's a small baseball and 60 feet, six inches away. And we got a lot of speed on defense and guys that really want to attack the baseball. So, you know, for, for us, um, that's going to be a big point of emphasis is uh, commanding the strike zone, attacking the hitters. Thanks, Coach. Beauty. All right, y'all.